hello everyone welcome back to another video i'm your girl erica and i am here today coming with a video showing you how i am doing my first attempt with the beret beret um hat so i'm doing this for the first time uh, i just purchased this uh pattern so I could try it out for the first time. Yes, don't mind me with my um, robe on. I'm anemic, I'm cold right now. So I'm at the house just chilling, about to get to work. So I am here attempting to do um, a beret, beret hat. Um, I print out the pattern on cardstock. So it can be a little more sturdy. If you hear that noise, that is my heater coming on. Um, so don't mind me. So anyway, um, yeah, I'm doing a hat. I printed the pattern already and I am cutting all my pieces out. I need to kind of make sure I'm not cutting through my lines. I'm not trying to mess this up. Anyway, I have some other pieces I need to um, cut out. And I wanted to, um, I have something in mind. I have something in mind and I wanted to embroider on, on it um, before I put it all together. So we're going to see how that come along and I'm going to have y'all join me. For my trials and tribulations and whatever come with it so i got my second pattern i'm cutting out and i believe this is let me see this part is this part is the lower crown so we have the upper crown and the lower crown and this is pretty much a work with me um for my first attempt on this project so bear with me okay so i have to go ahead and tape my item So anyway, I cut all my pieces out and I'm going to attempt to embroider on one of the pieces that attach to the hats. So I was thinking, uh, I was attempting, I don't know if you can see that, but I was attempting to put this on one of the pieces that's curved and I hope I get it right with the placement and the curve that it has going on. So, um, yeah, I'm about to save this on my USB drive and I'm going ahead to my machine. I wish I could have did it on my single needle right here, but my bobbin is low and I need to buy more. So that's probably what I'm gonna do today. And I got plenty of bobbin thread on a multi-needle machine. So I'm gonna just go ahead and place it on there. 
so I am saving right now the design to my um, USB drive pray for me now I hope this turns out right with the placement of the embroidery design So I'm using a cutaway. See how this goes. Fold my material in half. Fold it one more time. Okay, so I just sprayed some uh, 5 -O on my stabilizer and I am about to go ahead and fold this up again the opposite way wrong side and I'm going to center that in the middle so that way I could get a more even Design. And then I could find my point when I hoop it, measure, measure it up with the point on the hoop. Hoping it's going to come out great. Then tighten up my hoop. And, and I can see it, so I'm going to punch it, put it right there, so when I got to hoop it. So, go ahead and bring y'all along with me. So, I'm sorry, but this multi testing trying to put the hoop and hold the camera at the same time. I hope you can see that. Gently, gent. So, as you see, I have my um, hoop on the machine. And um, I'm just going to um, put my design up. I want to see where my middle at. So, right here. Maybe I want to move it up a little see I'm sorry I'm so close I'm trying to see what I'm doing here and hold the camera at the same time so this is the middle Are you sure okay I want to see where my bottom point gonna be my top All right so I see my little hole y'all probably can't see it but I can bring it back to the middle okay so now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do some embroidering and let's see how it goes so I'm hoping for the best it unlock bring y'all along with me and let's do it The design is finished as you can see it came out perfect and now I just have to like pretty much assemble the pieces together so I guess we'll see when we add the um, finished touch on it to see is the design placed perfectly the way it should so and I use cutaway because the cotton is a little thin so I'm gonna go ahead and cut this um, stabilizer off without messing up 
the design and cutting into my fabric or you know then you gotta do it all over again <laughs> okay this is not tear away but it looked like I can do a little bit of okay that's pretty great so it is cut away some areas you get you um, tear it and some areas will not let you um, tear you have to cut it but that's okay check my background I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it like this so that way I can see what I'm doing So I'm hoping I can get this hat done by today because like you know I do have kids that I need to attend to and I have a toddler that need my attention and I would like to get him outside for a little bit to play, put some time in for him to be able to get some air. So. I'm almost finished with this and I need to run a couple of errands to pay some bills. Now if the um, pattern was already cut out, I probably would have had a little more of a, a head start. But being th that I had to cut my pattern out and material out. So I pretty much have my material cut out. As you can see, I decided to use blue with this piece. This is the back of it. I'm liking it so far. Getting between these travel stitches. Um, that's pretty much it. I did not. I would like to iron my pieces too before um, I get started with assembling everything. Okay, so now I am pressing, pressing my um, fabric. I do not have a heat press, so I'm dealing with an old school iron. Got to work with what you got. Eventually, I will invest in a heat press. And I went along with this fabric. I think it's a really beautiful fabric. My room is bad lighting. Okay, that's a little better. Excuse my lighting. My lighting is not really good. And I got them old school light bulbs. So it's not like a... um natural light look so i'm just pressing it out so cute beret nice and flat got my inner facing i'm gonna use red for my inner facing nice thing two of these i need to cut one more piece of a fabric that goes with this um pattern but i wanted to do like black and it was supposed to go around i think it's called the um face band i really like this um fabric really cute I think this is the top part to the hat. Really cute. I'm loving this. The colors are really nice. So, like I was saying, I'm thinking about putting um, black under here, which is called... It's like a piece of the fabric I need, but I think I need to run a Joanne somewhere because I don't, I don't believe I have enough black. Probably, a, you know, a nice amount for applique, but not 
not the piece that I need for the bottom it's pretty long a nice long piece but it look like this is gonna be cool I don't know if y'all can see this or not there you have it really nice I'm liking the outcome can't wait till it's put together so I might just start this I don't know not for sure what I'm going to do um I'm thinking about just starting it and maybe later go to the fabric store so that way we can have it already started and I'm thinking you know this is regular cotton I'm trying to use with what I have at home and I know this is gonna need some type of interfacing so I don't know I might just go ahead and use like some uh flannel no not flannel uh what is that um felt maybe to give it a little body you know what i mean because i i just wanted to mess around with the the um pattern just to you know see how i look but i really like the i really do like the um fabric that i have right here so far so i don't know maybe i might add some uh felt to the inside just to give it a little body okay so i'm about to attempt to um stitch out this pattern and like i said i'm adding felt um to this for like a, a interfacing to give the hat a little more um body being that it is cotton fabric so let me see here stitch up the lower crown in a circle oh no i'm skipping one okay so i'll let you watch me in the results if you can see um like in the hat and this is how it's looking the beret i cannot wait to make new um styles i have different ones in mind I'm not gonna say right now but um yeah so um I actually hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. Oh, one more thing. I went on and I got the um, Stitch Artist um, Stitch Artist digitizing software. And I've been messing around with that. And I'm going to show y'all that um, I digitized the um, logo. And I'm not advertising this logo. But... I'll show you I ain't doing nothing with it. I just thought, let me play around with this logo. And, um, yeah. Okay, so this is what I was talking about. I digitized this and test stitched it. I really like it. Like I said, I ain't advertising that and doing that with this logo. It was just messing around. Well, that's it for tonight. Um, I hope you enjoyed my video. Um, stay tuned for the next vlog. But I hope everyone enjoyed their day today. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. And yeah, so if you enjoyed the vlog, please give me a thumbs up, a like, and um, subscribe. And join my journey as I grow. And thank everyone for watching. Have a great night. Peace.